Hi, this video will cover our sales CRM settings. Click on settings from the main menu. Click CRM settings. The first tab you'll want to adjust is custom fields. As it mentions, create custom company fields to track details specific to your sales process, such as territories or product interest. When you're ready to start adding in new company custom fields, click on the Create New Custom Field option. You will pick if it's a number, text, currency, dropdown, or a date field. Once you select your type, you can add that custom field, enter in the name, and click Save. At any point, once your fields are down here below, you can click on the cogwheel to go back through to edit that item. Or if you no longer need, click on the same cogwheel to remove. Same process will apply to people. Click on the Create New Custom Field. Choose whether it's the number, text, currency, dropdown, or date fields that you're trying to add. And across deal, same process, click on the Create New Custom Field and choose your field type. At any point between any of these, you're able to drag and drop the order of which your fields appear. Moving into your field ordering, this allows you to customize your company, people, or your deal, field preferences. You can decide which fields are displayed and the order in which they appear when you're adding or editing a company, people, or a deal. Again, you can drag and drop the order of which these appear or toggle the eye icon to show or hide those fields. Again, across people, same process. You can drag and drop the order or show hide. And finally, deal, same process. Go through and configure the order and toggle off the descriptions and field names you do not want to show. Task and events. As it says here, task and event types lets you track specific types of activities as they get scheduled onto calendars so you can report on them later. You can edit the default types below or add new ones. The first one on the list will be the default selection when a new task or event is created. So task and event types, click on plus to add that new type. That'll put a new entry for you down below. Go ahead and click on the entry and type out the name. Click Save. At any point, you can remove any of your types you no longer need or rearrange and drag and drop the order in which these appear. There is also to do templates. You can click on the cogwheel to revise an existing template, click Edit Item. So, as you can see here, this template is a deals sales process template. You can go through here and specify the day for follow up and choose your type, whether it's an appointment, an email, a call, a to-do, or schedule a meeting. We'll get more into this when we cover our sales CRM video. You can specify days. Once you're ready to create a new template, if you do not want to use an existing template that we have with the software, click on Add New Template, and you're going to follow that same process of filling out your template name. This applies to people only. And go through here and configure your days. Maybe on day one, you want it to be a call. Day three, you may want to follow up. Email, choose the type for email, and just save that to do template. Statuses. These help you sort and prioritize your relationships. You can edit the default statuses below or add in new ones. Some examples. 
You can have cold, warm. Click over here to add a new status. That's going to place a new entry for you down below. And you can go here and adjust the color. If you no longer need any of these statuses, click on the trash can to remove. Going into sources, as it explains here, this helps you understand which marketing programs are driving your business. So it could be business from an architect, a builder, could be advertising. Click on plus to create a new source. Type out the source name. And fill out the cost. Any of your sources that you no longer need, just click on the delete. Moving into tags, these allow you to associate keywords between companies and people. You can tag your relationships by any attribute that's useful to you. To add a new, click on plus. It's going to put a new entry for you down below and type in your tag name and click save. And finally, deal stages. These allow you to define your sales process. A probability is associated with each stage as it indicates how likely a deal is to close. You can use the default deal stages below or customize the sales process by editing and adding in new stages. Click on plus. That'll place the new entry for you here down below. Fill out the deal stage name, probability, if you need to remove at any point, click on delete item. Same process for your deal loss reasons. Some examples will be shown here. Click on the plus to create a new deal loss reason. That'll place a new entry for you down below. Revise the reason name. Click on save. You can also rearrange the order of which your reasons appear. That covers our sales CRM settings. Join us for other videos as we cover each section of the software.